Wake up in the morning feeling like P. Diddy. Hey, whatever, girl. Every day, you watch teenagers slowly drag themselves into their first class, barely before the sun rises outside. Half open eyes and exaggerated yawns are noticeable right and left. There is no surprise that the brains of the class are also fighting to stay awake. One of the major causes of sleep deprivation among the youth is the early bird hour that high schools open their doors to students. Studies show that teenagers need more sleep than any other age group, and negative effects in school performance have risen due to this fact. Safety issues also come into play when senior students drive to school so tired that their alertness and reaction time are completely delayed. Students are putting forth outstanding effort in Huntington Central High School and deserve an extra privilege of having an extra hour or two of sleep each morning. I'm tired is a phrase whined over and over throughout the school day. Walking through the halls of Huntington Central, it's impossible to pass students hurrying their tired bodies to class without seeing at least 20 yawns and eyes that are fighting to stay will open. Teenagers actually need more sleep than any other age group. Not surprisingly, with busy schedules filled with work, sports, and homework, sleep is the first activity to be skipped. Mary Karskadon of Brown University related puberty and the changing circadian rhythms of teenagers to the reason students of this age group should be getting more sleep. Her extensive studies showed that the stage after puberty is when the circadian rhythms of teens shift into a delayed stage. The circadian rhythms, or biological patterns, start and end later in the day during teenage years, causing increased alertness and concentration in the afternoon and nighttime. Shifting the hours of the school day later to correspond with the shifting of the circadian rhythms will lead to alert students who are at their prime for learning. Sleepiness can indicate more than just a few yawns. There are actual medical side effects linked with lack of sleep. Adolescents in specific are major candidates for chronic sleep deprivation. Being sleep deprived can cause major changes in mood and performance and also mark fatigue and inattentiveness according to an article by the Health Reference Center. With such prominent side effects, why is sleep deprivation overlooked so easily? School is a place that is supposed to maintain the safety and health of its students. In reality, starting school at such an early hour is contributing negatively to the health of the student. Darting to the car at 7.10 a.m., quickly grabbing a lunch in the way and barely getting a seatbelt on before whipping out of the driveway, high school seniors are on their way to 100 and Central to start their day. Running off of only 6 or 7 hours of sleep, Compared to the nine and a half hours needed for healthy teenage development, many high school students are putting themselves in dangerous situations getting behind the wheel at such early hours. Statistics from Geico Car Insurance Company show that teen drivers have the highest crash rates in the country, and sleep is one of the biggest contributors to this statistic. The National Sleep Foundation stresses parents and teens to change their sleep habits to improve the safety of teen driving. This is much easier said than done, considering the many responsibilities that high school students have daily. Homework, work, sports, and many other tasks prevent teens from getting to bed at early times. Yes, the plan is not picture perfect and has a downside. The time lost in the morning cannot just disappear. Starting school at least an hour later must incorporate the other factors that would be changed, such as timing. Changing the hours around will not be difficult at all. The lunch period would only need to be shortened 15 minutes, still leaving students with a 45-minute lunch. The other 45 minutes would be added at the end of the day instead of fifth block. Teachers could then have an option to stay for an extra 50 minutes or ask the students come in, to come in early for makeup work or extra help. Hundred Central can only be improved by pushing back the time that school starts. Teenagers handle the responsibilities of schoolwork, activities, and other privileges, Changing the school hours will be another privilege that students of Huntington Central will easily handle. The negative health effects caused by lack of sleep will, re will be reduced and attention span and concentration will be increased drastically. Safety is a factor that is stressed as a major concern of schools and making the drive to school safer is necessary. Please consider how this change will to start school will only benefit the responsible students of Huntington Central. Well-rested students will only make Huntington Central a more enjoyable, productive place to be.
my best 